Apparently, uh, there's not a government agency monitoring or watching at all the, the energy company's usage um, of the groundwater. I mean, no one's holding them accountable. And my question is, I've got a couple questions, but how can, how, because I'm asking you as a government employee and your many years of experience, how can this change? What is it going to take? I, I mean, I feel like the Railroad Commission is not on our side. And I'm just wondering, based on your experience, we're just, we're just little old citizens. What, what is it going to take to have the energy companies held accountable for the overusage of the aquifers and the contamination that they're, they're doing? The one, the one way you can start is by talking to your elected officials, even that they, they are limited. The other part of it is because the Rural Commission elects their own commissioners. They, in, in some ways, are very independent, but still the legislature does pass some regulations and things. So talk to Senator Abrams, talk to Representative Kepper. He, they're your local representatives, and uh, be surprised how other areas are also affected in the state, and they have other, their other colleagues in the state that will also They'll, they'll start with their slot activity going on, and it is a good issue, so talk to them. Okay. And, and right now is a good time because in another month, a lot of the legislation, a lot of the things that are going to happen will start getting in place, and after that, it's not going to change the whole lot. The, the, the passing of the bills and things will start taking place, and it's, right now is the time for the still be a lot of legislation. There's still be a lot of input from citizens. And so this is the time to write and talk to you. Okay, um, on the handout for TPEQ, I'm just trying to understand, there's a blurb about unauthorized disposal of municipal and industrial waste. Would this oil and gas contamination fall into that category? Or y'all are not groundwater at all, is that? Well, no, it's just we are groundwater. Okay. We do have the groundwater, but for consumption. We don't regulate groundwater, and so I'm saying any activity related to drilling is all done under the Railroad Commission. That's okay. like, and I go back to reference and comment, I said, we have regulations for water, for drinking, for drilling, for, for water levels, and things like that, but and we can speak and prohibit it in many cases from a well being the drill or, or being used or whatever, but Drill can be turned in and drill another well, and they can use it for their for that for, for that well that they drill, and we have no regulation over it. But if it's all that's the regulated at all by the world fish. Okay, and then my last question is that um, I understand that a new groundwater conservation district has been approved to be go go ahead and be formed. No, I thought no. this happened no. last night. Can you consider that the, the priority ground management yeah. district? Yes. Uh, the TCEQ is responsible for looking at these situations of these groundwater uh, what aquifers we're looking at, and we call them priority ground management uh, areas. Uh, we were responsible for doing an update on that particular area last. October, we did a draft paper that is, that is out there on the website, and it does address that we are recommending that a, a priority ground management area be formed. It is a very large area, it's 19 counties, but it really was addressing is the Woodbine community aquifers. That's why it's covered, it's covered all the area here in Central Texas. But it's just a recommendation, there is nothing else behind it, and no one it's just a, a draft paper that we, we report that we did. It. I, th I just thought last night at the commissioner's court, someone had actually told me that it was approved. This committee was approved and ready to go ahead. Apparently, that's not true. Um, I, want, I want to mention something that I heard at Somerville County yesterday and also from the Weatherford paper. The counties of Parker, Wise, Montag, Hood, and Somerville are considering branching off from that other larger group and having just a five-county conservation district that's not approved 
there uh, the people would have to have a vote on it uh, at some point you know i guess in this election season and the counties that are involved in it have to deliberately join i know somerville hasn't for example they're still taking it under consideration <laughs> Thank you.